Mm. Shout out to Beekeeper Coffee. Okay, first things first, I didn't factor in the wardrobe, so probably wearing a white jacket, <laughs> talking about a triple white shoe is not the best in terms of aesthetic, but we're gonna make it happen regardless. This is the Nike Not The Glide in the triple white colorway, officially Drake's signature sneaker, inspired by the Zoom Flight 95s that Jason Kidd wore back in his Dallas playing days. Right here, these are uh, big eye bubbles or uh, bulgy chrome hits. And the midsole is basically inspired by the Zoom Flight 95s. There is a air zoom unit in the forefoot, G-Tech traction pattern outsoles. Um, there's this, is this plastic? This is like, it's like a TPU swoosh on the side. Chrome all over the place mixed with the triple white. Knock the logo on the tongues. Chrome hits also on the inside of the insoles. You know, surprisingly, these feel really, really good on feet. Uh, in terms of sizing, I'll, I'll give you a better perspective. Sometimes I'll wear eight and a half, sometimes I'll wear nine. This one, I decided to, to go with a size nine and it feels great on my foot. Uh, I have wide feet, so factor that in. Again, I don't want to recommend a certain thing and then you get at me on the comment section and say, no, that's incorrect. Different people have different feet sizes. Their foot is shaped differently. So if you can, just to play it on the safe side, you could always wear something bigger, but it'll just be painstakingly gruesome if it's pinching your foot. So th that's my recommendation. I would say go true to size. Go true to size. That's all I can say. I know the hot steppers, they ran a little tight, so maybe, just maybe, you can go up half size if you have wide feet. If you have wide feet. If you have narrow feet, you're probably good. Don't even worry about it. The hot steppers, I went with a size nine as well. So that was, that was good for me, but I, I, if I can recall, it was still, I think a tad snug. It wasn't pinching me, it was a tad snug. But these, these felt good when I put them on foot, so. I like that it's low cut too, so your ankles can roll around a little bit. Now this is kind of like a uh, crossover between basketball and lifestyle. You could hoop in these if you wanted to, but this is now more considered a lifestyle sneaker. Uh, it has Nike spelled out on the side of the eyelets. But technically it's not the eyelets because this is like a cover. The eyelets are inside. There's, I guess there's an extra layer or it's on the inside of this I don't even know what you call this. I'm trying to look for other Easter eggs, but it just looks like this is a very simple and clean colorway. Uh, the reason why I have the Luca ones here is because I don't know if you saw this in the past, but Luca did a PE colorway inspired by the Zoom Flight 95s, and he gave a pair to Jason Kidd. Uh, I thought that pair was super dope. You know, just a little throwback and paying tribute to his head coach. So that is why I have the Luca ones here. It's kind of a, a remix to the OG Nike boxes. Um, has gray, but the OG Nike boxes has like the orange. I say this is one of six colorways that has been surfacing. There's the OG colorway, which is the black, gray, and white. You have the green colorway, the red colorway, the triple black colorway, the, all, the triple white colorway, and then the last colorway is kind of like a predominantly white mixed with black and uh, I don't think those dropped yet, but I, I'd imagine those are gonna come out in the future. I'm also hearing rumors that there's gonna be a hot step of two. Um, you know, now's a good time if you wanna backtrack and, and go get the hot step of ones. They're probably heavily discounted by now. I know a lot of people weren't a fan of that, that type of chunky shoe, but I like the triple white version that Drake rocked um, in the past. So I don't know, maybe it's something I'll, I'll revisit and I'll try to track down because I already have the triple whites of these, right? I forgot to mention yellow hits on the bottom. So it's white, chrome, and yellow, the yellow pods on the outsole. Let me know what you think. This is very, very clean. It's almost like a <laughs> triple white Air Force One now, but with a little bit more cushioning. I still say my, my favorite colorway is the OG colorway. I'm still trying to track down a pair of those. I, I think now I could probably still get it for retail or even below. Again, I'm trying to lowball some people. Hopefully, you don't get away, give them away for under retail. That's 
That's not my point of attack right now because right now the sneaker market is kind of struggling in terms of like the secondary market. So you could find a lot of good steals uh, just by being patient. Whether or not you like this shoe, Drake has made an impact on the sneaker industry with his Jordan collaborations, uh, even his Air Force Ones, the certified lover boys with the little, little hearts on the uh, outsole and the, and, the, and the midsoles. It's a, it's a very nice touch. So that's all I'll say about that. Appreciate you guys watching. More videos to come. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media. All that good jazz. I sound like a repetitive right now, but I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.